anyone who was having trouble getting PHP MyAdmin working. When I installed it on my Mac, I ran into this problem. And you'll see that I have up on my screen, it says MySQL said 2002, the server's not responding. 2002 is a very unhelpful MySQL error message. It's just a general connection error message and it's not very specific. What's happened in this case, I can tell you, on a Mac at least, is that Apple's version of PHP that's already installed is looking for a connection to MySQL. It's called a MySQL socket. It's a place for PHP to grab hold of MySQL to work with it. And it's looking for that file in a certain location. And in the past, that file was always in a different location. So what we've got to do is link those two up. And there are a number of ways we can do it, but I'm going to show you a way that we can do it right now. Now again, this is only if you're having problems, and this is only if you're on a Mac. So we're going to open up the command line, and all we need to do is a super user command, sudo mkdir, that's going to make a directory for us. And the directory is going to be var slash mysql. That doesn't exist yet. We're going to create it. And then we're going to make a link between the socket connection, where it is now, and where PHP expects it to be. So it's going to be sudo link dash s, and that means it's a symbolic link. And the current location is mysql.soc, and the new location, mysql, mysql.soc. Now look at that very carefully. Make sure that you've got those written correctly. So what we're going to do is create a link between the two. It's like making an alias on your desktop or a shortcut. So there we go. Now if we just come back here and reload this page right away, it resolves our problem, and the problem goes away, and we can keep going. So hopefully that'll help you out if you got stuck there. 2002 can mean a lot of other things, and you can go to the MySQL website and do some research on some other possibilities for what it might be if you're still having problems.